Previously on Alan and Blake, we're back. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Good girl. Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. <coughs> She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. My name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird you stuff coming, from the local <laughs> newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Are you, are you coming, Barry? Well, you I don't want to keep wrong. craning my neck behind me to look at you. I thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Um, Zane was hold on, Barry. Diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Barry, yeah, does it? Does this that? not bother you? Was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Um, you're not more worried about that, man? There wasn't a tornado last night. You would have heard that. Oh, it's Randy's dogs. This is what Stucky was screaming about. The chili dog, the monster dog, the belly buster. The myth, the legend, Randy's dogs. Just follow me. It's not far. I'm assuming this is Randy. Randy, why didn't you tell me you were Randy of Randy's dogs? I guess we don't have time for a dog right now. But I will be back later to partake. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The Scratching Hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway... Um, what are you doing with the dumpsters there, Randy? She insane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Fascinating. Could you, like, walk faster, please, Barry? Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Uh, I guess I can go in now. <laughs> Welcome to, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes. Does it strike no one else yes. as odd that she's talking like that? Please, come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. 
I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! It's almost like she was acting what? weird this whole time. What? Too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Alan Shrine. <laughs> I felt nauseous. Good lord. Hung over. Only anger kept me going. The sunglasses. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Do you? <laughs> she promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Things are getting took a day a for crazy me. now. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. No. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Man. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First Come refill on, Barry. is free. Milk and sugar right, he's useless. On the Let's go. There. Would you like to hear today's special? Oh, my boy. gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Yeah, but somebody's leaving manuscript pages directly in my path, so I should read that. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, also, when I went to go get food, I looked up... Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I think that was just, like, a graphical bug, but that was weird. Um, I, I looked up those QR codes. I was like, what is that? Because I wanted to, to link them. You know, I was talking about it. And apparently, they are uh, links to a series of YouTube videos, like I said. But these videos are... In my opinion, extremely spoilery, <laughs> if you've never played Alan Wake before. So I think they're meant for people who have played before and are, um, really, they're kind of teasers for a sequel to Alan Wake. So I will link them, um, but I would recommend you not watch them if this is your first time experiencing Alan Wake. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? <laughs> Oh, this is the guy from the jail. 
the, the okay. drunk guy. But I wasn't drunk then. <laughs> well, I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Danny's my best friend, and, uh, he let me out of bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah, apparently uh, flying I boats. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I reach So it's not just Alan that's getting freaked out by the... Atmosphere around here. Oh, hey, coffee. Alright, let's go get the car. Oh boy. Randy's here, and I'm pretty sure it's not to give me hot dogs. Oh, oh boy. You're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole. It's a very weird game. Oh, it's over time. Okay. I thought the game was freezing up. You're gonna shoot Randy. Right here, you goddamn maniac! On the run again. <laughs> I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh right, and I don't have anything to give him. Oh, oh boy, let's go, Alan. I'll say it again. This is the time in your life where you're really gonna wish you've run a lot more. The cardio. See, look at this. You were running for 10 seconds, and now you're out of breath. I know you're a writer, but come on, man. I play video games on the internet, and I can sprint longer than that. Come on. That's the way, Alan. Let's get... Oh, come on. No, you don't! Oh! Alright, let's go around. Ooh, stop it! Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Damn. Ah! No! Ah! Where are they? They're just shooting at me indiscriminately. Cover. Cover. Ah. It really annoys me how little he can run. I'm barely running at all, and he's like, I just have to do the normal run. I can't even sprint. Come on. Oh, well. I can't tell if it's a flashlight or a manuscript page, but the closer I get, the more I suspect it's a manuscript page. Oh, I think we may have gotten slightly away. Alright, give me this page. I'll read on the go. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, great, so this is my fault. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Uh, sorry, officers. Is there a gun in the trunk? No, of course not. Uh, well, 
I guess I gotta go meet the kidnapper now. Oh. Oh, they're sending up road flares again. Or not road flares. Emergency flares. I was about to say I didn't hear the darkness anymore, but uh, now it's back. I hate to say I'm glad, but I think the darkness is what's stopping the cops from finding me. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought that was a person standing on the bridge, not a sign. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be on a bridge when the darkness comes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Betrayed by the light bulbs. Oh, another... This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to be surprised when they find out that Alan Wake somehow threw a cop car up on top of a cliff. On top? Can't talk today. Threw a cop car up on top of a cliff and then smashed it. Alan Wake the Hulk. Oh, come on. They sent a helicopter after me. Oh, cover, 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 cover. You on the ground. Hold it right there. Did they just shoot at There's me? There's nowhere to run. This is like the fugitive. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. I'm going to get teamed up on both sides. Oh, no. The darkness is apparently going to help me. Well, um, it just took out a helicopter, so there's that. Oh, please tell me the Firewatch Tower has a gun. And in one night, the uh, Bright Falls Police Department has apparently been decimated by some crows. What do we got here? A radio and some coffee. Not a gun, though. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. Oh, great. Uh, Barry's Jane, arrested now. Why don't we... Hey, Mulligan, what you... Come on! Sit down and give me that. <laughs> Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's dropped or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of oh, the scotch about him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Great, a drunk FBI uh, agent is after me. I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. Oh, yeah, I'll bet you does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All looking out. <laughs> All right, well, this was less productive than I hoped. I was hoping to get a gun out of the deal. What am I looking? Did I just put a coin into this? Yeah, they uh, they took the chopper out. Cool. What, what was that accomplishing? I need a gun. None of these cop cars had weapons in them. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Huh. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. I know the police are chasing me, but I need to go to an abandoned coal mine. Can you help me, please, Mr. Radio Director Guy? Uh... All right. That's new. The shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Well, fortunately for me, there is a light right here. There was no power to the work. searchlight. Ah, coffee. Hmm. And there's a generator, so I think we can figure this out.
There we go. This does not look safe. There are sparks coming out of the wires. Alright, let's do this before everything fails again. Burn gate! Oh, they just completely annihilated the gate. Okay. And then broke the light. Alright. Gotta get all the way to the radio station that's so far away. And little old me here without a gun. Or a flashlight. I'd settle for a flashlight and some road flares. Not oh, great. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Light. Yes, a light. At least I can keep them at bay with this. I only have five batteries, so I'm not going to boost anything here. I'm just going to let it burn naturally, so I don't lose my flashlight. <coughs> ah, another wrecked cop car. Maybe there will be a shotgun. It took me a moment to oh. recognize the flashbang. Okay, so that's even better. They're an ideal weapon for my situation. Ah. I hope they have some earplugs, too. <laughs> All right, flashbang grenades. Pretty much ideal. Here you go, guys. Adios. Ugh, I don't want to waste them, but I have to. He wasn't close enough to the first one. Okay. Let's move quickly if we can. No, sir. Oh, come on. Light! Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Run, Alan, run! <clears throat> oh, more flashbangs! <clears throat> and here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on Milt mind? Peabody. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars oh, hey, what's there, this? lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Why didn't you just call the cops, Milt? <laughs> There's some shooting going on. My first thought is to call the local radio DJ. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, and in front of me. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. Don't go get on that. There you go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let me have this manuscript page. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Poor Rose. Really didn't deserve any of that. Oh, maybe there's a gun in the deer blind. No! Or a deer stand. It's not a blind. I don't know hunting. Flashbangs are very effective, but I am acutely aware of the fact that I only have a few of them. Oh. Ah! He tried to sneak up on me. Did I get both of them? No, I did not. You stay back. I'm gonna go to this cop car for help. Please! Please have a gun! Oh, there's more flashbangs. Sorry. A 
I've got to be close to the radio tower. I can't see anything because of all the fog, though. There's something up there. Oh, here we go. Oh, and they're deputies. The darkness is taking the cops now. I'm gonna have to explain in the morning how, like, eight different deputies at least, got, like, just disappeared. I don't even know how many deputies a town this size would need. Oh, hi, mister. You weren't even trying to hide, were you? Alright, three gone. Three grenades left. Radio! I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Or, like, a shotgun. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Pointless coffee. Oh, wow. Well, let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that passionate uh, <laughs> viewpoint, Lauren. Karens of Bright Falls. We'll be right back. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just... Don't say him. that! Let's see if I can talk him into an interview. Pat. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Danny Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest. What the hell is Judas the matter with you? Priest. There's a civilian in there. Time to go. So many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. Ha -ha. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I don't know. Something kills me about the way he says, HP Lovecraft! <laughs> Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Well, so far he seems like a stellar cop. <laughs> oh good, flares. I think I can, yeah, I can switch between flares and flashbangs. I'm gonna hold on to the flashbangs for now. Because the flares are more useful if I have some other means of finishing them off. Which I currently do not. Generator here. Hello. Stay near the flash. Another flare. Let's get this thing started before they come back. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, wait. Is this... Yes! Someone just left a pristine revolver sitting in the woods with a junked-out car! Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> 